All right. And we are back. Hey, girls. We have Anne. We're going to, we're, Hi. Yes, we're doing another game night. I like game nights. I'm a very playful girl. I know season one was like kind of just getting my feet wet. And that was literally me just bringing my ideas to life. And I just was like, F it. I don't want to think about it. Let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I found some girls. Oh, it's still more packaging. Um, but yeah, I found some girls <laughs> and they were down for it. So now that I have things situated and you guys like the concepts, we're gonna bring on some more we're gonna bring some more life to it, like I said. All right. Woo. So we're playing a new a new game. I'm literally un unpacking as we are because I just got it yesterday. Um, so I don't know what to expect. So let's get this little game started. What was the last thing you had a you had to maliciously prepare for? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Um this I feel like my work personality can get very petty or maybe it's just because a lot of the people that I find myself interacting with mm -hmm. at work really like get on my nerves <laughs> um, but uh <laughs> but the last thing i had to maliciously prepare for was a meeting with some developers and i think the 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 vibe for these particular developers is like oh the marketing team they just like show up last minute throw some like pretty colors yeah, or something and then like <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel a little whimsical. Um, <laughs> so this this person, I'm not gonna use any pronouns. This person just like always has something snarky to say. It's always so we were one. in this meeting with like a lot of the oh yeah, with a lot of the executives um from the company, and I deliberately put like screenshots of things because i was like this is why basically this is why this uh product is not going out when it should be going because the development team just really does not want to work with us so i was like i hear all my supporting evidence here are screenshots of when i asked for dates and timelines here are the no responses that i got you know what i mean no. so that was um it was fun it was cathartic to do i just like i really don't like when people when we're supposed to be a team and, and work individually are so willing to throw you yeah. under the bus yeah it's like how are we supposed to get something done if we're both supposed to get it done but you won't tell me anything so that's my little rant yeah there's definitely there's <laughs> we've we've definitely done that because that's definitely how i've been trained to do it but as time evolved i've actually had facts to back to back it up like real life market research oh, yeah. data from like yeah oh, really? so now i don't do it anymore but i definitely i mean that's how that's how we're trying to do it now, to be honest i've said yeah, oh, yeah. i've been ta i've taken like marketing classes and that's like how they're trained to just come in and oh dude, we're just feeling blue so that's how the people are feeling and that's what they're doing so <laughs> look, i think we should just do it all blue and you you guys pick you like yellow <laughs> which is like a warm color <laughs> um but mm -hmm. a project I haven't maliciously been prepared for. Um, I'm not going to say my book because it's it, that's going to be an ongoing thing for the for the next like year and a half. Because, mm -hmm. and that's not malicious. <laughs> um, what is something I've been preparing for? I mean, you, can I say myself? <laughs> 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 hey you can say anything you want i think i want to say myself <laughs> i'm always like a working progress and i just know there's just so many things so many little things i still need to under i just need to work on from my 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 family's <laughs> issues but um Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to say myself because I've really been like unpacking a lot of things and I tell people like, hey, please hold me accountable. Like if I'm doing something wrong or something uncomfortable, like 
let me know so I can work through it and you do not have to experience it. Um, yeah, I want to say myself. That's why I definitely have to say okay. I don't really have close friends. I have friends or people I'm getting cool with. Um, but I'm mm-hmm. going to say myself because I'm still unpacking me gotcha. for a better version. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Hmm, there's so many sections. There's like an icebreaker section and then a deep section. Let's go with deep. <laughs> what was your worst Uber or Lyft experience? I just have to start off by saying that my Uber rating is 5.0. Mine, mine is not. Um, mine is 4.8. <laughs> <laughs> But I think my worst experience is just um like I don't I haven't had any particularly bad ones, but I was in I think I was in Seattle with a friend. Um because usually I take Ubers when I'm like not in my own city, like mm-hmm. when I'm traveling. Because usually if I'm home, I'm driving myself. Um but yeah, we were in Seattle. We were trying to go somewhere and this uber driver was like he did not want to follow mm-hmm. the route that uber had outlined and we were like hey we just would feel more comfortable if you followed the route that that uber is telling you to don't like kidnap us in some random right. forest somewhere um so eventually he did he was like okay fine if you guys I, like i want you guys to be feel comfortable but it was like a whole argument and i was like I really like I was like I don't feel safe and we we had to put our foot down like hey if you don't if you want to take us on some random route we just won't we'll cancel this ride we won't go with you um and I refuse to close the door never let them close the door on you and drive you away so that's my story (laughs) man oh man I've had a couple so my uber they're kind of similar because both of the drivers try to talk to me so I and then they try to go like a different route one guy passed where I was going and I'm like, whoa, 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 where, where the hell are you going? So I started recording because I was like, oh, I'm sending this shit to Lyft. Uh-huh. And then I grabbed something mm-hmm. like in, in his, in his trunk. I said, if I need to bust your goddamn windows open <laughs> to get out of here, mm-hmm. oh what God. the hell's wrong with you? Oh, no, don't, don't do all that. I'll, I'll do, I'll bust you, sir. And I'm just like, yo, my destination is like, big it's not like a hole in the wall or no we're we're going to mm-hmm. a prominent place so i contacted lift and i was like yo i don't know what the hell is up with your goddamn drivers i sent the audio and i'm like look <laughs> at the route like he passed it how do you pass it like yeah. it's huge but i didn't want to put in like he was trying to talk to me because it was very very evident but um yeah, just uh, just alone, wow. like you passing my route, and we're like a half a mile up. Oh, yeah. I'm like, they're like, oh, we're so sorry. Yeah, That's so I was just like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, but yeah. And the other one that was similar, which just happened two weeks ago. He's like, you live around, so no. we're, we're very close to my apartment. He's like, oh, you no. live around here. I go to the breakfast place around the corner from here, and I'm just like, okay, so just because I live around here, you 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 supposed to know everybody from around here. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I see you. No, 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 no. He's like, what time you going to church? No, none of your goddamn business. So yeah, I get stuff like that. So um, yeah, but those are my worst Lyft in Uber experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awful. Oh my gosh! Sometimes it's very scary to be a woman. That's why I'm just like, I, I think I need to get my car back. Um, but then again, I'm just like, house girl, house girl. Um, yeah, because the parking is so much. And if you tally that up per year, because they've been, they've, been, they've been telling me that you got to break it down. How much is that a year? I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> um, but yeah, parking where I'm... You don't have parking in your Girl, apartment? you got to pay for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta pay for it, girl. Or unless you're gonna be fighting on the street mm-hmm. parking, and I do not want niggas on my car, okay? <laughs> <laughs> there are kids and homeless people. Oh no. Gosh. No, I'm on a parking deck. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you gotta pay for it. Um, So that's about 2000 a, a little under 2000 a year. Oh, so gosh. I'm just like, <sighs> yeah, it all, it all adds up. Yeah. Um, I mean, oh. I have a zip card. Do you guys have zip cards where you are? 
No. no. Okay, so it's it's similar to like Uber, but it's pretty much like I rent a car whenever I need it. So if I need it for a couple of hours, oh, I yeah. will just you know, um, yeah, I'll rent it and I pay for insurance. Yeah. We. We used to have something called car to go. We have that. Um, and yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's the one I would think that that was somewhere. I think they left though. I think they left our <laughs> city. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I have Zipcar. Um, I pay like $9 a month for membership, but they have been like changing okay. their structures. Like the toll, we have tolls a lot where I'm at in this part. So oh. we have to now pay for tolls before we did not. The tolls and the gas was included. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just a mind fuck right now, but we're going to figure it out. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. Oh, let's do icebreaker. Next question. If your friend group was going on a vacation, where would you want to go? Somewhere warm. Easy. <laughs> My answer is Portugal. Portugal. It's been on my list for the past two years. Yeah, I was supposed to go uh, right before okay. the pandemic started. Um, basically, my best friend uh, did her master's in mm-hmm. London. Um, and what I went, I helped her move up there. We had a lot of fun. We hung around. We went you places. You are a real friend. We met up with another friend. You help someone <laughs> move. You don't hear that from three people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> But we met up with another friend from high school, um, just randomly. Hadn't seen her in years. And she was like, oh, yeah, my parents are retiring mm-hmm. to Portugal. And I was like, oh, I really want to go to Portugal. And she was like, well, if we go, like, you know, in mm-hmm. the summer, we'll have a place to stay. And I was like, perfect. And then the pandemic started that mm-hmm. that spring. <laughs> this was September. We were supposed to go June. And I think the pandemic started in, like, March or something. So still haven't been to Portugal. That's where I would go. Um, I de- if it's a friend group, I I would want to go somewhere warm, warm, tropical. Mm-hmm. Ooh, like the Caribbean, yes. somewhere in the Caribbean. Yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, because when I'm with, I don't. You know, females just have so many personalities, and oh, I don't want to do that. So I just want to keep it neutral. <laughs> and we're just yeah, going it's warm. It's by the pe- <laughs> by the poolside because when it comes to me, child, I'm like one extreme to the other. So I'm I'm gonna brace everyone <laughs> and not say, but I yeah, I would ideally would like to go to Tokyo. Oh, yeah, I like stuff like that. Some people that. would not want to love do that, that, but I'm gonna just keep it neutral, something warm, mm-hmm. fun, lighthearted. Yeah, and lots of sun. So Love that. Joe. I like these questions. Let me see. Let's go back to deeper. <laughs> There's three okay. different columns. <laughs> All right. When you hear the word beautiful, what what is the first thing that comes to your mind? <laughs> Who is it coming from? Um mine's funny. Who is it coming from? <laughs> <laughs> mine came okay so uh i actually was recently having a discussion with my friends and i was just talking about how like music is such a big part of my life it's usually the first thing that comes to mind when someone says a word like i find it so difficult in conversations when people say something not to like sing it if i can think of the mm-hmm. lyrics to a song that fit it so the first thing that came to mind is beautiful by mariah oh. Carey and miguel <laughs> oh <laughs> Different one. <laughs> I, hear, I, so see, I hear Pharrell. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, what came to mind for you? <laughs> uh, what comes to mind when I hear beautiful? It depends who I'm. Who am I hearing it from? Oh, who, that's who a, yeah, am that's I hearing point. it from? Because I have two different, just like instant, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. What, what do you want? So if it's coming from a male, I'm just like, mm, what are you trying to? Get? What are you that trying to get? Hello. <laughs> um. Yeah. If it's from a male and I don't know oh them, gosh. like it's just like, mm, mm-hmm. what do you want? <laughs> or if it's from a female, then I'm just like, all right, girl, I see you. Hey, hey thanks so much. 
Um, yeah, it's just That's so yeah, true. it's just two different reactions. Um, yeah, my first question is just like, oh, who is it coming from? Oh yeah, that's my. Mm-hmm. That's a great question. Great distinction. But yeah, that's that's uh, that's why I was just like, who is it coming from? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, next one. Have you yeah. ever missed a flight at the airport? What happened? I did, and it was not my fault. It was not my fault. My cousin paid. What happened? My cousin had bad judgment of um, leaving his house to go to LaGuardia Airport, and oh, it, no. and oh, no. when we left, the the bus took forever to get there, so we missed it. Oh no, it. that's New yes. York, right? So we missed it, and he had to pay for it, me, my sister, and himself to adjust the flights. So, yeah, I missed it. And we were going to a family reunion and everyone was bringing it Aww. up to his face. And I'm just like, don't, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> that was his fault. That's all you That was <laughs> his fault. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the only time I missed a flight. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I've never missed a flight. Um, I If I'm traveling by myself, I... I'm the person who gets to the airport like four, four. Hours early, um, just because I'm very I'm a very anxious okay. traveler. So I literally I'll if the flight is at like noon, I'll be like, well, I gotta wake up at one a.m. Gotta get ready. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, oh, but say. that's Woo. kind of what goes through my mind. Yeah. Um. So I'm usually there super super early. Um. And then if I'm traveling with friends, I just like bug them and like texting them every thirty minutes. Like, are you on your way? Oh are you on your way? Because I'm already here. Where are you? So yeah, I'm an anxious traveler. I like to be very prepared. Actually, I'm just an anxious person to be honest. Um. Like to be early. Like to be prepared. Don't like surprises. you don't. So I've never missed a flight. I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I like it. Okay. Maybe. Maybe surprises from people that I know and love and trust, but definitely not surprises from the universe. Oh, yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> All right. Which pile? Should we go deeper, deep, or icebreaker? Keep... Wait, the piles are deeper, deep, and mm-hmm. icebreaker? That's why I keep, like, shifting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, let's do icebreaker. <laughs> okay. I like the way you're just like throwing in like really easy ones. In the oh, I guess that's like, probably the icebreaker ones. Icebreaker. I don't know. I'm not looking at it. I, they're face down. What was the worst oh, haircut my- or hairstyle you have ever had? Ooh, this is not my fault. But when I was younger, my mom really loved to put me in like... um. You know, um, have you ever seen Orange is the New Black? I've heard of it. I'm such a terrible TV wa- a TV okay. person. I don't even own a TV. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, I'm pretty bad. That's whoa. That really yeah. I don't. Off. I don't watch TV. If you if you come in here wow. like we're talking, like we're talking, I'm cooking. We're like yeah, like as I said, I yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We but like on your we, own, you don't like. Oh my gosh! That yeah, seems no, surprising I, to me. I sew. I got my little sewing thing right here. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm like, what do you do while you're sewing? I sew. I listen to music. I listen to podcasts. I have my little reading station over there next to my little my new little plant over there, and I'm out and about. Wow! Yeah, no, I'm I'm like I'm out and about. Yeah, I don't see oh me. I'm such a homebody. Um, yeah, when I'm <laughs> home, I'm like chilling, uh, like in my bed, like talking to people or FaceTime. Yeah. But, you know, I don't I haven't had TV in like five years. My mom keeps asking me, you don't want you don't want wow. a TV. And I'm like, no, I have a projector <laughs> like it's in the closet. Like when I had more space, I had a projector. But like, yeah, I don't I don't watch TV. Wow, that is so, so shocking. Um, I was trying to describe the hair, the hair style, but basically they're just like little braids. She, like, would divide my hair up, do, like, little braids, and they just looked a mess. Like, in every photo, I'm like, oh, my God, what was my mom <laughs> thinking? Um, but anyways, she really liked that style. But it was, like, when I was way younger, like, mm-hmm. seven, you know, when I I wasn't impressing anyone with my hairstyles. I'm going to definitely have to say um, the worst haircut I have given myself. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. 
I had the wrong clippers. <laughs> <laughs> I Ooh. had. You did it I did to it to myself, girl. I was like, let me try to do this. This look easy. And I went to Walmart and got like some, it was con air. And when I went to the barber, shout out to Z down there in Florida. He's like, you got white people's clippers. This is why your hair's effed up. <laughs> and he joked about it and we laughed. He cut my hair and he's like, I'm going to show you what clippers you need to get. Cause you have black people hair. <laughs> so yes, I did it to myself. <laughs> I missed the area. Oh it was God. like too. It was too dark. <laughs> it was just. It was just bad. Oh so God. yeah, I did it to myself as an adult. It was a learning <laughs> curve, but whatever. People would still talk to oh me, and God. I was just like la la la. <laughs> but yeah, I did it to myself. Let's all not talk about it. Yeah, but that was fine. <laughs> that was definitely fine. Oh I my was gosh, like, that's good. That's but good. yeah, I mean, good thing about hair is it grows back. It it, my back. hair grows back within like two, three days. So I only walked around with it for like, oh, wow. yeah, I cut my hair like every three days. Yeah, I cut wow. my hair. Wow. You know what? That's how I feel about like my leg mm-hmm. hair. Like the hair on my head will not grow fast. But the hair on my legs, it's like I shaved yesterday and now it's like, oh, we're oh, back oh, again, girl. <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah, tonight, this is this is getting cut off because this is a lot. Yeah, I wow. cut it every three days. Every, every three, days. three days. It's on my calendar haircut. Wow. 8, 8 p.m. I cut it at nighttime now because <laughs> morning time, I'm just like, I'm I'm oh. a blur in the morning. <laughs> mm-hmm. Too much to do. I'm just that. not a morning person. I'm like a oh. zombie. Like, all right, girl. <laughs> we here. So that's when you'll give yourself like a horrible haircut. Pro- again. No, I think I did that. In, I think I did it in, in, in like the midday i think i just like went to walmart midday but and though i knew but i needed a mirror to see the back of my head like i was just not prepared mm-hmm. wow <laughs> i was just not prepared it was just bad oh man let's go in the deeper pile oh yeah. who do you go to for advice oh this is easy yeah um well actually it depends on the kind of advice um for professional advice i always go to why one of my earlier managers um she, like my hair really early in my career and i we're still close i still chat with her all the time so career advice i always go to her um life advice i think it depends like usually my friends because we're usually going through the same things so i'll be like hey you've done this mm-hmm. how'd you do it what advice would you give um yeah i think i think that's that's my advice group at least what about you i have um even though i'm not like a social butterfly i definitely have like my little community so i have my therapist who is like my life um advice and she also Guide. and she also just <laughs> helps me just kind of just comb through stuff so i can see it in a different perspective mm-hmm. Um, business, I mean, I have like nine business mentors that I, that I harass. Um, <laughs> and then I have, yeah, my accountant is like not a dickhead. He really is like, oh, that's yeah, great. yeah. That's he's not great. a dickhead. He just that's told me important. to like change my, um, yeah, my entity because before I was just a service based. Now I'm like selling a products so i'm a service based with it. so he's like yeah. i think it's best for you to do this uh make sure you get the form da, 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 da. so um yeah i have created a community i i did not want to yeah i know that my background like my my family is not the best sort of people <laughs> or role models i knew that from when i left out of new jersey which was the age of 19 year 1920 so I made sure I know I'm not social butterfly, but I just made sure I wanted to have a community where I can ask for advice. Um, so, yeah, I have people that I admire or I want to have like their lifestyle or whatever. And yeah, that's why I ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would say same. Like, yeah, I, know, I know most people would be like, oh, you know, my family. But I feel like one, I recently was listening to a podcast and they were talking this this 
lady was talking about how she doesn't go to her mom specifically anymore to like for pride. Mm -hmm. And it really resonated with me because she was just like, after trying for so long, it was like, mom, I'm in this newspaper, mom, I'm on this billboard. Like, it was just like, she knew the only thing that would make her mom proud is like marriage and children. And that's like, that's the boat I'm on. So I definitely don't go for like, I wouldn't be like, hey, mom, like, this is happening in my career. She like doesn't right. care. Um, it's like, oh, she'll. It's always like they'll find a way to like bring it back to like how you can get find a husband. <laughs> They're like, well, you know, if you take that job, there might be some really nice guys there. You could meet your husband there. It's like, how did we get here? I was literally talking about job options. Yeah, so, it's definitely like yeah. a disconnect with <laughs> people who have parents that were born in like the fifties, sixties. 70s Mm -hmm. because they Mm -hmm. just don't know that your jobs are not secure anymore i mean i've been trying to tell my mother this since i was in college which was like in 2009 2007 i've given her like 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 handheld uh, statistics and she just she laughed me out of the room Mm -hmm. and i'm just and now like here we are and a lot of the prominent jobs are laying people off and you've seen on the news and oh, I'm just yeah. like, yeah, remember this discussion we had and you left me out of the room and you and like now you're still like, well, you got a 401k. Yeah, like I could get you could get that on your own. You do not need to have an employer. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. unfortunately, those people, that's that's what they were fed. They they were fed this information and they just still yeah. want to be attached to it. And I'm just like, yo, like. I've been making it out here like without that stuff like you can get to that information um but yeah I don't know yeah it's the same thing it's the same thing with my parents well I'm gonna have to say with my mother my father's just like as long as you are not killing anyone or (laughs) (laughs) you good you good I'm like yeah all all right (laughs) that's all that matters and I'm like all right next that's very serious dad energy um, but my mother i'm just like mom like relax relax <laughs> jesus christ but yeah it's oh definitely like a disconnect i don't know but she has not mm-hmm. pressured me she 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 probably doing it to my sister because my sister's older but that's none of my business oh yeah she's got to start with the older sister she better because she yeah she 40 <laughs> she is 40 <laughs> that is none of my business. <laughs> Ooh, which of your friends have the coolest job? <gasps> okay, I don't know how I feel about that question. <laughs> which of the which of your friends has the coolest job? I have a friend who works um, at a PR agency. And I think her job is really cool because like we like we met in university, we went through the same program, um, but I work in in house and she works at an agency. So my job is like selling the products of my company, which are like um, oil and gas data Mm -hmm. products. So it's like very boring. And her job is like meeting different clients. Like she's like, oh, I'm doing this campaign for Taco Bell or I'm doing this campaign for like this company. And they're like cool company. She has to do cool things. Um, that are interesting and like right. diverse while mine is like, well, how else are we going to sell this oil and gas data? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I've always been like, you have the coolest job. And I love to hear her, her work. Right. Stories. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I really like my, I really like what I do for living. You have the coolest job. But I think group. I would, if I had to pick just to answer, I'm going to have to say my friend who is a mom, a mom and a wife. I'll say that because I listen here. There's nothing greater to have little minions. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> Look what I drew. I'm probably going to be like, yep, let me hang this up. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I think I do think it's Oh, sorry. I was just going to say I think it's so interesting for people who have kids. I don't have a lot of friends who have kids. Um, but I think the thing that I'm looking forward to the most when I have kids is like 
just seeing the world through their eyes because they're just so innocent and everything's so new. Yeah. I feel like it's like a way for you to relive your childhood. Yeah, that's what like, I said. I'm probably going to be child. running around with them too, like rolling around on the floor. Yeah, I took yeah. two of her kids and I was just rolling around. <laughs> She's like, what did you do to my kid? I was like, girl, I took them out to play. We played. She's like, they are sleeping, sound asleep. Can you do that for the babies? I was like, nope, your babies are too fragile. I will take the 11 and your nine year old. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't no, no, ma'am. But, um, I, yeah, I would have to say, I would like to, uh, I would switch with her. And then to have, like, yeah, and just to mm-hmm. have, like, a unit that you know cannot avoid you. Like, your friends can abandon you because they're going through different phases. You have your husband, your support system, mm-hmm. your home. You, hey, I, I cook something. You want to try this? They have to try it. So, I don't know. I like, <laughs> yeah, I like just having, like, a support system that you create. I think that's the coolest. But other than that, I, I like my job. I, I mean, why not? teach my i could teach my child how to sew with something or draw or something i think that's the coolest i think i'm, <laughs> I'm probably set on that i love that so answer. yes hmm which pile should i go in i'm gonna go in this one <laughs> what's your favorite holiday and why oh that's easy Oh, you My go. birthday, crazy! <laughs> you think this is? I'm a holiday. How could I forget? <laughs> I am a holiday on my day. So yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Oh, this is a tough one. I so um. One of my love languages is mm-hmm. gift giving. I love the process of like knowing someone and knowing what they need, knowing what they would like, and then like finding that perfect gift and then watching them open it. Um, and just like if knowing when you nail it right. and sometimes you don't nail it. So obviously, but I, I've got, I, I find it, I find that I, it's like a pretty good skill of mine, but, um, so I would say Christmas because there's a lot of presents involved, but mm-hmm. I also, this is like my, my mm-hmm. hot take. I also love Valentine's day. Isn't I say? Um, I am single, but you like the romanticism. <laughs> I just love that there's a mm-hmm. holiday. I love that. Yeah, I know everyone's like, oh, it's like you know, cookie cutter, like um, company driven right. holiday. But I just love that there's a day where I'm not saying don't celebrate your love right. the other days, but I love that there's a day where you can like go all out for the people mm-hmm. you love. I love that. Yeah, Christmas. I really, I, I miss, yeah, I miss doing like the gift giving. I know people are like, you probably have everything that you want or you can make whatever shirt. And I'm just no. like, man, oh man, like little spot, like, <laughs> um, I love skincare, skincare stuff. So like those masks that you put on mm-hmm. or like the little oh, massagers yeah. oh, or yeah. just even like some type of like drawing, um, sketching pencils or, um, uh, paper. Like, I mean, I don't know. I like stuff like that or a book. Right now, I know someone asked me, Mm -hmm. like, what kind of book do you want? And they bought me a book. So, I mean, I like books like that. Yes. I told them, I told them specifically the book that I wanted, the retire, the the retirement something. It's like a cartoon. It's a girl cartoon. It's like retirement plan. How I retired at the age of 30 or something like that. Um, so yeah, like they bought that. And so yeah, I've been reading a lot of books. Um, so like, yeah, stuff like that. And everybody just thinks like, oh, you have everything or you can make it yourself. And I'm just like, no, like I like stuff or plants. I know that's odd, but plants, come come on with Sheba over here. She growing. You like four (laughs) feet. And then we got the birds of paradise (laughs) over there. So yeah, plants. So yeah, no, yeah. I like stuff like that. Uh yeah, I like stuff like that. Or if you made like a body scrub, I would really love that. I'm very much into that. So yeah, it doesn't have to be mm-hmm. expensive. And Valentine's Day. Yeah. I think Valentine's Day is cool. It would be better with your significant other, but I mean the whole idea of ro- the romance mm-hmm. that you see in the air, like I think it's like contagious. It's good. I I agree. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. Hmm. Whoop. Good question. Another one. What pile do I want? I want to do. I like this pile, the deep pile. Oh, this would be a terrible question for me. What TV oh, no. show? Uh, 
friend group <laughs> is most like yours? Uh, I, I have one answer. Okay, Insecure. go. <gasps> oh, that's Insecure. a good one. I did watch that. I love I did yeah. watch that. Actually, I, I bought course. the series. <laughs> For the culture. But no, I <laughs> felt like it really resembled... It just resembled so much. I was definitely Molly in my twenties. <laughs> Molly in my twenties with okay. the attitude and just oh, I can yeah that I was so Molly, but I also was Issa because I was the one in the relationship when it became like the two female friends. Oh. So I identify so much, and then just how the tables have turned. I'm just like, oh my god, mm-hmm. this show just speaks to my soul. But I'm definitely going to say, um, insecure. <laughs> I definitely watched. I caught on to it late. It was like the end of the second season. And someone was just like, you have to watch Insecure. Start from season one. And I'm like, I don't <laughs> even got no damn TV. They're like, just use my password and just watch it. And then when I watch it, I'm like, I'm hooked. Love that show. So I'm definitely. <laughs> That was a great it was a phenomenal show. and I liked how she closed great it out. Show. She did not just keep on exaggerating mm. it. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to say insecure. Mm. It spoke to me in so many words. Insecure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. I don't even know. I'm trying to think of all the friend groups in shows. I, I, I watch a lot of TV, so maybe I, now I have too many. <laughs> See, options. Oh, so many <laughs> options lead the nut. Okay. <laughs> um I feel like my friend group is like quite separated. I feel like I have I I'm the connector of okay. my friend group. Um cuz I my best friend is from high school. Uh we've been friends mm-hmm. forever. Um and then I have a couple friends from like university days mm-hmm. um who were all really close and I just like bring them up right. together. I'm like we're all going out to do this. Um, so I just wonder, and then, you know, there's also a few people that I've met through Mm -hmm. work that are also in the friend group. I kind of feel like it would have to be like living. Really? Or wait, 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 no. That would be a great show. Maybe that's like aspirational, but not actually <laughs> real. <laughs> um, you know what? Actually, I think it's there's a show called The Mindy I don't Project. Know what the hell that um, is? Which, <laughs> I know. What is that? Have, okay, wait. <laughs> I have. Oh my gosh! Not to advertise, uh, but like. It's I've never show. seen that advertising. What the hell is that? So basically, it's uh, following this woman. Um, she's a doctor. She's an OBGYN. Mm-hmm. And it's just like following her life. Uh, there's like five seasons, I think. Um, but I think um, in the early seasons, especially, they show her friend group. And it's just like she has like her friends mm-hmm. from college. She has her friends from like, you know, different places. And they just like meet up and do things. And I think that that actually is okay. her friend group. That's the most similar. I don't know nothing yeah. about that show. <laughs> yeah, Insecure. I know living single because I used to come on. I was <laughs> that was like a little ahead of my time, but now with like all the streaming and um, uh, like you can buy everything mm-hmm. off of Amazon. I'm like, yeah, let's catch up on all these. Like Moesha is. On I Netflix love now. Like, I like, Mar- oh, okay. Martin. Let's Martin would it. be like my ideal like life because that's how it was with my friends. Like, j- I always had one other friend, and the friend that I had, she was lighter than me. We would call each other Ebony and Ivory, and then of course I would have my a significant <laughs> other. But I still have my friends. Like I don't shy away from my friends. Like you still come mm-hmm. over, we still eat, we still yeah, kick yeah. it, we still combine together. So Martin would be like the ideal like epitome of how I would have like. Even if I'm married or with someone, like you still come over, open the door, girl. Come on in, sit down, go in the go in the kitchen, get your food. Um, <laughs> yes. So yeah, those are those are definitely like my two shows that I'm just yeah. like, oh, I love it. The dynamic. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna try this one last one. The deep. Our last question. 
Have you ever had to stop a friend from doing something? What a uh, who was it and what happened? Oh yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy? Oh god. Stop a few friends from doing something <laughs> illegal. What the hell wrong with y'all? <laughs> you trying to get us killed? I was just gonna say all the stories are when your friend is wasted. No, one of them was wasted. not. One of them was not. Oh, one okay. of them was not. She was seeing two different guys. One of them she was living with, and it got very, very serious with the guy she was not living with. And I, I was her alibi. Oh, that's yeah. I was her alibi for everything. Her two other friends were like out of state, and they were just kind of just egging her on, like, "Yeah, girl, just keep this up." No, bitch, what are you doing? Your your living boyfriend is not riding by my apartment and shooting me up. This is how folks get killed. So yeah, I had to um yeah no I, no girl. Oh my god. So at the end, she had a very bad very bad ending, and her mom tried to you know hey, I know you're relocating, but she she needs help um wow. because you know the living boyfriend took uh some stuff out of her apartment. I mean I'm sorry out of their house. I'm like well that ain't my damn business because I told her to stop years ago okay best of luck to her oh my God. yeah he he took the washer machine kept the dryer he took the cables left the box <laughs> like whatever the pair was he took and she had to revamp everything i, I was like that ain't my business i told her to oh, stop wow. yeah he was feeling well petty. as he should because the boy the 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 yeah. boy well, number two boyfriend was around the corner and they lived in the same and they worked in the same building Oh so as he God. should i told her to stop wow. she uh, you're getting too serious like stop stop mm -hmm. this is gonna be a she really took the phrase like don't what is it don't shit where you eat and she was like nah i'm gonna do what i want she, she got out of your situation <laughs> with the living boyfriend and then did whatever but yeah no yeah no yeah no but yeah she was using wow. me as an alibi and i was just like yeah no girl you need to stop because you will <laughs> F around to be on the first 48. Okay. <laughs> or something. <laughs> but she, she got the easy way out. But yeah, he oh took like gosh. whatever the pair was. He took the, he took the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He took the oven. I love yeah, he that took for the, him. Uh, he took the, he took the <laughs> oven. <laughs> left the microwave. It was like so petty. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I told her to stop. A year, I told her to stop over a year ago. That's why you stopped seeing me. Oh, oh well. Uh, best of luck. I am out of here. You don't want to help her? Wow. No. I helped her all those years. I told her to stop. <laughs> nope. Now she got to deal with it. Best of luck. Had them two other friends help her. How about that? Ain't nobody want to say nothing about that. Oh but yeah, that, that was my situation. <laughs> <laughs> my story is definitely way less, um, but it's just going out with friends. Like, uh, it's always at a club. You're like, okay, we've been drinking all night. Do not choose this time to like pick out the oh, love of your my. life because you're not looking with your right. actual eyes. You're looking with like, you're looking through all the tequila you just drank and he's not that cute. You're going to regret this. Um, so yeah, that's my, that's always the story. It's happened a couple of times with a couple of different people where you're just like, no, he's actually not cute. He's not what you think. Yikes. Don't do it, girl. Yeah. I always <laughs> got the extremes because yeah, I'm just with the shits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I love that. <laughs> yeah. I'm just with the shits outside of the internet. I do not live for the internet, but yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I just live life i don't want to i don't want to be living without any regrets i want to have a, a very eventful mm -hmm. life because man oh man when i have kids i'm gonna be like man don't be listen here i may be your mama let me tell you some stories i got some stories to tell y'all <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i actually love yeah. that Yes, it's gonna be so much it's gonna be so much that's why i said yeah <laughs> my friend who i will swap with the coolest job the mom and the wife Cause I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be sit. Hey, sit down. Tell you about the time I did this. <laughs> it's story time. <laughs> or when they about to fall asleep. Let me tell you what I did back. In <laughs> oh my gosh! 
<laughs> you know how other parents are like reading them books? You're like, no, 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 no. I got I'm, I'm a, we won't tell you a story, <laughs> okay? Okay. <laughs> You know what I thought about? <laughs> this is how this is how this is how this what? is how much like con this is how much ideas I have. So I thought about okay. when I have kids, I want to start doing like a podcast and I'm talking to them as if they're there. So when they watch it when they're older, it's yeah, yeah. so like your parents unfiltered or some shit like that. That's so, so I was just like, uh, I yeah, I was yeah, I was like, this would be really clever. Instead of me just writing, why don't I just, you know, just do an audio podcast? Yeah. I mean, hey, yeah, you hear you. <laughs> and that could be like kind of like your mm-hmm. memoir too. So yeah, this is the, yeah, this is idea. like the stuff that I just be thinking. That's why I'm just like, I don't need no damn TV. What the hell want y'all? <laughs> So yeah, um, I th- yeah I thought about stuff like that. I'm just like, this would be really cool if I just talk to them as if they were older, and they 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 have to watch it when they're older. I don't. I'm gonna say some things yeah, that I don't. It's not PG. Yeah, your parents unfiltered, or something like that. <laughs> that is a great so, idea. You should trademark that quickly. Child, somebody would probably gonna take the idea, but whatever. You you not gonna do it how I do it. I know that because it's not gonna be out. It's gonna be for my kids. And so they could be ahead mm-hmm. of life, because you know ki- our parents. Thank, thank you for yeah, what yeah, you yeah. did, but man, oh man, there was just so much information mm-hmm. that was just left out. But yeah, they, that was right. Prepared. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely Agreed. want to just yeah, just be like a handbook for life, because I know I'm not going to be able to tell you if I if I forget or I don't know. It just may be just a random like, hey, let's let's record something, honey. Bust the mics <laughs> out. So yeah. So yeah, that's not that's just oh yeah, that's, that's a great that's, idea. that's what the heck i'll be doing i just be like hey that's an idea right there right coming up with yes ideas. girl <laughs> it's going that's what i said i'm i'm probably gonna be a nightmare as a mom i'm gonna be like hey let's color <laughs> let's draw this stress out so yeah i'm probably gonna be like yeah when it comes to like arts and craft i'm gonna be so happy to just color mm-hmm Social studies, get that to your father, somebody. <laughs> Not my area. Not my area. That's me with math. Oh, girl. Give me an Excel sheet so it can formulate yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ciao. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but yes, yeah. this was so much fun. I like this game. I thought I was a little, this I was a little is, nervous because I bought another game. It's over there, and I'm just like, this is better in person. The other, the other game, I had to stop it. <laughs> it's better if you do it like in person because I know one of the questions was like, um, look at each other in each other's eyes and tell tell the other person um, something. I don't remember, and I'm just like, we this will be Ooh, weird. That's we intimate. can't do this on screen. <laughs> So I had to stop that one. I'm like, I'm gonna have to leave. I'm gonna have to do that one like in real life. In person, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like these questions. <laughs> Another one. So you, if you remember yeah, the too. one that you stated about being the liar, detecting the lie, yeah. deceptive or something like that. I don't know. Yes, I will. I will look it up. Yeah, we, yeah, we're gonna have some more game oh nights. I'm definitely a playful type of girl, so I said I was gonna incorporate it, and yes, but yes. And you yes, are. Because I'm definitely playful, <laughs> playful out, I love it. outside of work. I'm definitely like the playful type of girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Mm-hmm. This is so much fun. This was fun. Yes, we will see you guys. I hope you get sponsored by the, the maker of these games. And then you can start revealing the name. Yeah, we, or we can make our own. Okay, because I already started plotting. Oh, I, already, uh, I already started plotting. Yes. I told you my ideas be like, hey, girl. <laughs> I'm just crazy <laughs> like that. But yeah, either either way is fine. Okay. But definitely like the video, subscribe, mm-hmm. share, share it to a friend, share it to a girl. Tell them to come along. Okay. Ah, this is so much fun. It's yes. Fun <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.